Time. A warning, there might be flash photography in this press conference. We have a suspect in this investigation who details have been widely circulated and we are doing everything in our power to locate him. We've been overwhelmed with public support and I would like to thank everyone who has so far assisted with our investigation. <clears throat> I will now go through everything we know about Saturday's incident and the steps we have taken since. There will be time for a small number of questions at the end. On Saturday the 6th of April, shortly before 3.20pm, Kulsama Akhtar was walking in Bradford City Centre. Kulsama was with her young baby at this time and was walking along Westgate when she was stabbed, attacked and stabbed multiple times. Emergency services were called at 3.21pm. However, despite the best efforts of members of the public, ambulance crews and hospital staff, Kulsama sadly lost her life due to the injuries. Her baby is safe and well and was not harmed in this incident. Through initial CCTV inquiries, we identified a suspect, 25-year-old Habiba Masum. Kulsama and Masum are known to each other and are from Oldham in Greater Manchester. On Sunday, we circulate an appeal to locate Masum, who also has links to Burnley and Chester. Masum is a slim Asian man and was last seen wearing a duffel coat with three large horizontal lines of grey, tracksuit bottoms and maroon trainers. At 3.30pm on Saturday, he was captured on CCTV getting on a bus on Market Street here in Bradford. He then gets off the bus at 3.42pm on Killing Hall Road and walks in the direction of Bradford Moor Park. This is our last confirmed sighting of him. There has since been no confirmed sightings of Masum. However, I would like to thank again everyone who has been in touch. We have had teams of officers working through all the contacts that we've received and following up on all lines of inquiries. There are significant resources conducting CCTV and house-to-house -house inquiries, and we also have local Bradford officers carrying out increased patrols in the area, which I hope will be of some reassurance to residents. With the support of other forces, we have conducted a number of raids in the Burnley and Oldham and Chester areas in the search for Masum. And during these searches, a 23-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of assisting an offender and is now in police custody. Our inquiry continues at pace and we remain keen to receive any information which would assist. We are also appealing to any taxi drivers in Bradford who may have picked up Masum on Saturday afternoon from the Bradford Moor Park area, and it is very likely that he would have paid in cash. If you see Masum, please call 999 immediately, and I urge people not to approach him, but to instead to contact the police, and we can act on any information that is provided. Thank you. Any questions? Assistant Chief Constable, if anyone knows the whereabouts of Masum, but they're concerned about their own safety, or well-being, because they think that that might jeopardise them. What would your appeal to be, be to them? They can contact us on 999, or they can contact Crime Stoppers independently if they want to remain anonymous. Whereabouts is the 23-year-old from? I don't want to provide that information at this moment in time. Can you tell us if Masum was known to the police before this, and if so, can you elaborate on that, please? Masum um, was known to the police, not in West Yorkshire, and that's as much as I would like to say at this stage. Was your victim known to the police? Had you had any contact with her? Had she been in contact with you? Uh, yes, she had. And what can you tell us about that? Obviously, my uh, inquiries at this moment in time are in relation to the live investigation. I don't want to go into any details outside of that. Would you like to make a direct appeal to Massum himself? I would. I would encourage Massum to contact us and hand himself in immediately. Uh, about the, baby and how the, baby's doing. the baby, as I said in my statement, the baby was not harmed in this incident as, and is fit and well. Can you tell us the relationship between the suspect and the victim? I don't want to go into those details, but what I can say is they are both known to each other. Sorry, sir, do you say the baby he is fit and well? The baby is fit and well. <coughs> so you can't give us any more? No, I don't want to go into any details. Can you give us an age for the baby? I don't want to go into any details. How concerned are you that the son might have fled the country? At this stage, um, I have, uh, through the lines of inquiries that we've done, we've done an all-ports warning 
and I believe him to still be in this country at this moment in time. And any eyewitnesses who were at the actual event on Saturday afternoon, what would your message be to them? As we've done in the previous appeal, we would encourage anybody who was in that area who may have seen anything, caught anything on their dash cam footage in vehicles if they were passing, to contact the police immediately and we'll pick up that information and deal with it. And are there any events or incidents prior to this incident that are of concern or relevant to this investigation? All I want to talk about is this investigation at this moment in time. Should the public be worried? My son, uh, as obviously at this moment in time, is a suspect. Uh, we do have a victim who has sadly died, so he is at risk, uh, or is at risk. So I would encourage everybody to contact us and not to approach him. People in Bradford are obviously very concerned right now. Can you tell us about the work that West Yorkshire Police is doing in Bradford City Centre right now? Yeah, as I said, we've got extra officers within Bradford at this moment in time who are conducting house-to-house -house inquiries with regards to the investigation and also conducting sweeps for CCTV with regards to where the last known occasions were. We know the suspects have moved from Oldham to Bradford. Can you tell us about the length of time she was there and the, the reasons behind that move? I, I don't want to go into any of those details at this moment in time. Could you just tell the deceased name for us, please? Yeah, certainly. The deceased is Kulsama, which is K-U-L-S-A-M-A, -A actor, A-A-K-T-E-R. K-U-L-S-A-M-A. Say again, sorry. K-U-L-S-A-M-A. K-U-L-S-A-M-A, -A, and then actor, A-K-T-E-R. How concerned are you about knife crime and the victims of knife crime in West Yorkshire, which is being addressed as one of the key concerns by the Police and Crime Commissioner and the Mayor of West Yorkshire? Work, work is go ongoing with regards to that. We have our Operation Gemlock with regards to the areas that we have concerns about, increased patrols in those areas. But this, this is separate to that. This was um, somebody who's come into the area for, for a particular reason. Have you, have you had to refer yourselves to any other public police body or anything in relation to anything previous contacts you may have had with anyone? Yes, we, we have referred ourselves to the ALPC because we have had co previous contact with the deceased. And could you just give us a final reminder if anyone's got any information what they should do? Please contact the police either on 999 um, or Crime Stoppers if they feel like they don't want to divulge their details. Thank you very much.